whenever I'm in Cape Town for a holiday, I try and pack in as much as possible into a short time. And that usually includes catching up with friends and um, eating some of the great food that's on offer in Cape Town. So this visit, I was only going to be in Cape Town for three days and I thought there's only one restaurant. And that restaurant is Gulby. I've been to Gulby a few times and it's one of my favorite places in Cape Town in the city center. Um, my son actually introduced me to it. Uh, we lived in Korea for um, a year, many years ago, and my family's always loved Korean food. And Galbi, they do the Korean barbecue um, and have other Korean dishes as well. But they do the Korean barbecue with a bit of a South African twist. So um, here's my review on Galbi. If you are wanting to go with friends, this is the best place because eating at Galbi is a social occasion. You have all these plates in front of you, you're cooking the food yourself um, over the traditional Korean barbecue in the middle of the table and you interacting with each other, chatting all the time, it is absolutely brilliant. We ordered um, the safari uh, selection and that had uh, zebra, let me just try and think now, zebra, warthog, ostrich and kudu. You can add um, extra kinds of meat in as well. One of the my friends, she didn't doesn't eat red meat, so we ordered some southern fried chicken for her, or southern chicken for her. It wasn't fried because you cooked it on the barbecue, and she really enjoyed it as well. They had um, soju, which is the Korean rice wine, which you can mix with. I like berry juice, cranberry juice. And you can buy a whole pitcher of it as well. You could, of course you can get other beers and that as well. The starters that you can order, um, you can also cook on the barbecue. Uh, their chili poppers are extremely hot, as my friend discovered when um, she burnt her mouth. And yeah, she wasn't expecting um, it to be quite as spicy. And the mushrooms that they do on um, the barbecue are also fantastic. So here's a safari set. You can see what um, we had. And you just share it. You just uh, cook it on the grill. You cut it into little um, pieces. And that's bibimbap, which we shared as well. That's another Korean classic. Um, the city we lived in in Korea Jeonju was very famous for its bibimbap, so that's always something we'll order at any Korea Korean restaurant that we go to. So the way you do it is you cook the meat, you cut it into little strips, and you will then get a lettuce leaf and you hold the lettuce leaf in your hand, you put the strip of meat, and then you add any Korean condiments that you might um, want. You can put in some kimchi, um, some of the uh, chili bean sauce that they have, um, or even just chili flakes if you like it spicy. And then you just, after wrapping it in the leaf, you just shove the whole thing in your mouth and enjoy the flavor sensations. The kimchi at this restaurant is also absolutely awesome. So to uh, end off, this was the most amazing evening. 
we ended with desserts uh, which were also very very tasty and I recommend this restaurant highly so if you've enjoyed watching this video I'd appreciate if you could uh, like and subscribe to my channel I'll be having lots of other travel videos um, especially some of uh, my time that are in Cape Town.